Hello and welcome. This is your 9 p.m. daily quiz. I hope all of you are doing good. Thank you so much for joining in to a class where we discuss the most important news stories from the prelims examination point of view by converting them into important questions which are relevant for the prelims examination. The questions in this session are usually taken up from the Hindu newspaper, the Indian Express, the PIB, Down to Earth magazine, and other such sources. Before we begin, again reminding you, if you have any doubts about your UPSC preparation, feel free to contact. I have given my number and my email ID in the description of this video. You can also check out the course that I am running on my own Android app. The link to download the app again is in the description of the video. There is an online live PSI or optional course that is going on. There is a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program for UPSC means answer writing and some other programs as well that you might be interested in. Let's begin with the first question then. Consider the following statements with regards to Nicobar Islands. Number one, the Great Nicobar Island Project launched in 2021 is a mega project to be implemented at the southern end of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Second, Indra Point on the Great Nicobar Island, India's southernmost point is located 19 nautical miles from the north tip of Sumatra, which is the largest island of Indonesian archipelago. Third, Great Nicobar has two national parks, a biosphere reserve, small population of Shompen, Onge, and Manis, and Nicobarese tribal people, and a few thousand non-tribal settlers. How many of these are correct? Now, <clears throat> this is one of those very, very optimistic infrastructure project that the government has taken up in the past few years. It is about developing and realizing the complete potential of Andaman Nicobar Islands, specifically the Nicobar Islands, developing it into a big mega port and other projects such as a solar power project are to be built as a part of this. All these three statements are correct. This is what the great Nicobar Island project will be. The answer here is C, all three are correct. We are asking this question because recently the Congress has demanded house panel review of the great Nicobar infrastructure project. As soon as the government of India had announced this project back in 2021, there were significant protests because the environmentalists, the people who think that this might lead to interference in the local environment and the lives of the tribal, they had started to protest against this and that is why it is a lot in the news. There have been a lot of allegation that this might go against the island coastal regulation zone as well. So the government of India had said that no, the panel has reported that this is in line with our infrastructure policies. The opposition now demands clarity on that. Next is question number two. Consider the following statements with regards to Nippon. Number one, Center Law Nippon, that is National Initiative for Proficiency in Reading with Understanding and Numeracy Bharat Mission in July 2021. Second, the target age of Nippon Mission is 6 to 14 years. And third, Nippon Bharat is being implemented by the Department of School Education and Literacy. How many of these are correct? Now, Nippon, as you would have read, the first part is obviously correct. This is the national mission for increasing basic literacy. So it will focus on improving the proficiency, needing, understanding and numeracy. As you know, for example, when we see the reports such as the ASA report, we see that there is a great gap in the standard in which the student is studying and the level at which the student actually is. To fill in that gap, we have started this Nippon mission. The target age, however, is not 6 to 14. The target age is 4 to 8 years. And that is why a second statement here is wrong. Third is true. It is implemented by the Department of School Education and Literacy. So the answer becomes B. Only two of these are correct. Not all three. This is an article in the Indian Express newspaper. Moving on to question number three. Consider the following statements with regards to right to be forgotten. Number one. In India, there is no statutory framework that prescribes the right to be forgotten. Second, in the landmark 1994 ruling in Rajagopal versus state of Tamil Nadu, the Supreme Court had talked about a right to be let alone. Third, in 2021, the Delhi High Court extended the right to be forgotten to even a criminal case. How many of these are correct? Now, if you actually see, and by the way, this is not which of these, this would be how many. How many of these are correct? Now, if you actually see right to be forgotten is a very interesting debate. The idea is, for example, let's say someone committed a crime and a news was published about them online. Now they have gone to jail. They have come out or let's say they were, accu or they were accused in the case, but they were acquitted. It was not proven that they have committed the crime. The problem is those news articles will always remain online. Even 10 years from now, if someone searches your name, that article might pop out. 
so you as an individual should have the right to decide what is printed about you online and what should not go online this is called right to be forgotten there has been this big debate about this in spain specifically leading to which european union now recognizes the right to be forgotten means the courts can give an order to for example companies such as google to delete all the personal information of anyone online for india we have had debates about this but there is no statutory provision about this second is also correct in 1994 the supreme court did talk about something called a right to be let alone and third is also in delhi high court in 2021 the court said that right to be forgotten can be extended even in criminal cases so even if you are let's say accused in a criminal case an article has been published against you and later on let's say you have committed the crime now you have come out you have the right to demand that that article should not appear online when someone types your name because it is ruining your life we are discussing this because of this important article in the indian express newspaper about right to be forgotten the reason why it is in the news is that the supreme court has agreed to hear a case that might lead to india also recognizing right to be forgotten on similar lines as europe has next is question number 4 it is about a news that was uh, covered in the newspapers a few weeks back which of the statements given below with reference to project udbhav recently seen in the news is correct number 1 it aims to promote indigenous military knowledge by merging ancient strategic insights with modern military practices second its main objective is to promote msmes with the support of international financial forums and agencies third it addresses the lack of skill in specialized technologies and services and aims at opening opportunities for skill development and fourth it is an initiative of the government of india for research and development in the ai technologies project udbhav think about it the correct answer about project udbhav is actually a it is a project under which the government is trying to promote indigenous military knowledge by merging ancient strategic insights regarding modern military practices this is something that was covered in the newspapers a few weeks back indian army to learn war tactics from vedas puranas and mahabharat this is called as project udbhav so they would now be taught these ancient texts as well next question number 5 consider the following statements number 1 she became the queen of malwa region under maratha rule in 1767 following the death of her husband and father in law second she is known to have renovated several temples across the country most importantly the kashi vishwanath temple in varanasi third she pioneered education for women and worked on women's empowerment during a three decade reign these statements refer to which of the following queens rani durgavati tarabai kitur chenamma or ahilya bai holkar think about it not a difficult question you would have read about this the answer here is ahilya bai holkar there was an article recently published about her on her 300th birth anniversary and that is why it is relevant all these are about ahilya bai holkar very famously she renovated multiple temples across the entire country most famously being the kashi vishwanath temple she is also regarded as a symbol for women empowerment especially women rights about education this was an article in the indian express newspaper again when a holkar queen gave india the ram raj to end the session today again i have an important quote for you which can be helpful for the mains examination this is a quote by atal bihari vajpayee a former prime minister we are unnecessarily wasting our precious resources in wars if we must wage war we must do or we must have to do it on unemployment disease poverty and backwardness you can use this quote whenever it comes to answering questions such as social justice government policies etc thank you so much for joining in if you are new here do hit the like and the subscribe button do check out my app and the other courses as well bye bye take care of yourself jai